I'd be glad to. Your coming is a favorable omen already. Such modesty, I say. You happen by a time when our rivals bicker and tear at each other's throats. <laughs> it does not take a priest to see how the gods send us an outsider to dig under the skin of our enemies. Save your manners for my sister. Kohopa fashioned me for the arena, not the court. I will not paddle around the island. My sister wants to know if you are as useful as you are disruptive. She trusts me to judge this. You did not come this far to serve the crown, I say. But sailing is an expensive hobby. Royal service can keep your galley stocked. I am Onikaza's shield. For a time, let it suffice that we speak with the same authority. My sister and I both value action over fine words. If you can shoulder some of our royal burdens, I know she would be grateful. My sister keeps a tight grip on the kataka, but the filth of it drips down her palm and into the gullet. Under our noses, I say, do foreigners smuggle contraband and pay the rapau for their silence. Take this if you need proof. An envoy ship sank a day's voyage out of Nakataka. He wore that on his breast. My guards recovered it in the raid of the gullet. This confirms my suspicion. Nekataka has a pirate problem. Smugglers and thieves cluster like rats in Delver's Row, a growth in the bowels of our city. You think pirates raiding those Republic's bastards be the source of your people's agony? Wonder what the gullet folk would be thinking of that, sir. Anyone who preys on my people will know Onikaza's justice in time, I say. I want someone to peddle the medallion to the black market, earn the trust of these pirates, and learn how supplies come into my city. It will depend on what you find, I say. Onikaza leaves this for me to handle. While she worries about the manor, I tidy up the basement. Yours is not a face that others will recognize. Let no one learn that you work for the crown. When you travel down the mountain, seek Takehu in Pariki's overlook. He is a godlike, one who the people look to for hope. Ngati's chosen knows of our troubles. He could also use a lesson in Raparu modesty. Takehu was touched by the goddess Ngati at birth. He is as much a creature of the sea as he is Hawana. We are left to interpret what the goddess intends by sending him among us. No more than you do, I say. Juana look up to Ngati's chosen, even as he looks down on them. That sort of attention opens more doors than it closes, I say. Think on it a time. You will find the Water Shapers Guild in Pariki's Overlook if you follow the road down the mountain. Be on your guard in the gullet. I fear the caverns run deeper than even Ngati could guess.
Gladly. 